I verify that I am actually talking to the Holy Spirit? Is there a formula uh, uh, for that? Confirm that? Yep, that's confirmation. God told me that. Absolutely. Um, I was actually going to pull up uh, a biblical passage. There's one in particular that I'm looking for where uh, Jesus uses the word uh, uh, stranger's voice, if I recall correctly. But in John 10, 27, Jesus is speaking and he said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I think um, that is probably, if not the most simplistic, one of the simplest ways of knowing that you are talking to Holy Spirit. And I believe the more you develop your relationship with Holy Spirit, uh, the more you will become familiar with his voice. Uh, I've used this analogy and it's gone over extremely well before in the past. Um, let's say when you were a kid, when you were 10 years old, right? Your mother goes to this huge conference, right? They have childcare and she drops you off at this room where there's childcare and there's probably like 500 kids in this room and a good handful of them named Denzel. And you might have several mothers whose child is named Denzel. They come stand at that door and they may holler, Denzel, Denzel, right? And you can tell there's something on the inside of you. You're playing and carrying on and doing doing your thing, doing what you do. And something in you knows when you hear that, that's not my mama. But when your mama comes and stands at the door and she hollers your name, Denzel, Napoleon Rodgers. <laughs> no, she might not say your whole name, but, I should, but she'll call you just by your first name only. Right. Denzel, mm. you know your mother's voice. Why? because you have relationship with her, because you've been around her long enough to know you've been in a multiplicity of situations in hearing her voice, and there's no mistaking her voice when you hear it. Same thing and the same way it is Man. for us being in the kingdom. That's good. The That's more good. we spend time with God, the more we commune with him, the more we fellowship with him, the more we spend time, not just reading the written word of God, but listening to hear him talk to us. And then he can verify it through the word if he chooses to. Right. But there are things I know that God has spoken to me. I know it was him and I don't have to go to the word to verify it because I know his voice. I know his voice when I hear it. If my mama calls me right now, I know my mama's voice. My dad, God rest his soul, he passed away some years ago. If my dad called me, I know my dad's voice. Why? Because I have relationship with them. It is the relationship that determines the clarity. That's a good word. I want to write that down. That's yeah. what I it is the relationship that determines the clarity or the level of clarity that you have in being able to hear the other person's voice. Mm -hmm. So the more you spend time, let, let's I take give you another example, real close to home. Your fiance. If you if if somebody said Denzel called for you on line one and you picked up the phone and she said, Hey baby, you know, or said whatever your <laughs> whatever your language is, uh -huh. however you communicate with her, she will say something that lets you know this is her. Right. And there's no and mistake. <laughs> No mistake. And I'll take it a step further to make this even more logical. Even if you had an impersonator trying to be, so let's say my girlfriend plays a trick on me and the caller ID is her name and everything. And maybe I just look at it quick and I say, hello. And then it's another woman trying to impersonate my girlfriend, uh -huh. even through the phone, I will know within seconds because there's a language and a relationship that I have with my girlfriend that that extends or transcends uh -huh. the environment. Uh -huh. Like I don't even need to see her to know that no. her uh -huh. voice. I'll do another one for you. Uh, <laughs> another good one. I, I've had relationships with a lot of sets of twins over the years. And uh, there's one particular set, good friends of my, my wife and I, they live in Texas and it didn't take me long to be able to distinguish who whose voice was whose or who was talking. Mm -hmm. The more I communicated with them, the easier it was for me to be able to hear it. Their voice sounds very, very similar, very similar. Mm -hmm. 
but I, my ear has just been trained to be able to hear the subtle nuances, to listen to tonality, to listen to draw uh, uh, of, of certain consonants or vowels when they're speaking and saying certain words. I can tell the difference. I can tell I'm, I'm I can tell this is Roger and I can tell this is Rod. I can tell who I'm talking to. Again, same thing with Holy Spirit. The more you become acclimated to dealing with him, uh, uh, being relational with him, speaking to him and being attentive to hear his voice and not listen, not just in your prayer time, not just in your in your your time that you set aside to be quiet, just you and him. I'm also talking about when you're going throughout your day, being able to hear him when he talks uh, speaks to you at a moment's notice and knowing that it's him. That's key. That's very key. And all of that plays a part in you being able to hear. So that's that's how you know.